VR work for all of it as well. And I actually ended up building a business around it, and it was called Messy Desk Ideas. But that's where I got my entrepreneurship start. And I, I ended up hosting two survivor events last summer, and I loved it so much that I knew that I just had to continue it, and I had to go to the next level. And the only way to do that was to actually go pro and try and figure out how I could get on the backstage of the show Survivor. So, I've, obviously, I went to Google, where everybody should go when they're first starting to find information. And I realized the more that I searched that, how little information there really was on the position that I was trying to get to. The only thing that I could find was one YouTube video, five minutes long, that described my position that I wanted to get. And it was called the Dream Team on Survivor. And what the Dream Team person does is they go on set for an entire summer and they test and build all the challenges and help make all the artwork on the show. So I found out through the video that the only way to get a position on the Dream Team is to contact one of the executive producers from the show itself. So I pulled a ton of my contacts and I spent over a year trying to figure out how I was going to get in contact with this one person, his name was John Kerr-Offer, and he was the challenge producer for all of Survivor since the beginning. And he was very difficult to get in touch with because none of his information was online. So after a full year of searching, I finally ended up stumbling across uh, uh, what, uh, Professor Velasco's event, the Mark Burnett uh, talk that was about a month ago. And I just heard about it just by chance, actually, uh, when I was talking to people. And I find that is a really good way to uh, discover information, is just talking to people and having your passions just happen to come up in your conversations with them, because you never know what they could offer. And that's actually how I found out about this event. And I was really excited when I learned about it. So I followed up and figured out who was planning the event and got all the details so I wouldn't miss out. And I coordinated with Professor Gack as well and beefed up my resume and cover letter because I knew this was my one shot to get this job. After the event, after I went to it, I walked up to uh, Mark Burnett, who's the creator of Survivor, if you guys didn't know. And I ended up having about 20 seconds to talk to him and make an impression that I'd been waiting to create for about a year. And so I had 20 seconds to sell myself, basically, and prove to him why I should be on the Dream Team. And I handed him my resume at the end of the 20 seconds, and he took it. And the next day I got an email from John Kerr-Offer uh, explaining that I had the opportunity to audition for the show to be on the Dream Team. Sent him a three-minute video, and about two weeks later, I ended up getting the job. Woo! <laughs> Thanks to Professor Velasco about that because he set up the whole event, so I owe a lot to him. And yeah, if there's one thing I learned is to always follow your passions, no matter how improbable they might be, because um, you never know what will happen. And, and you never know who is out there. To help. You know, I he wasn't in the class, and he sent me an email, and you know, you get a lot of emails, but his email was just dripping with energy and it ended you know talked about his background in creating these games and that uh, he's more than a fan but he actually created these and it ended with uh, if there's any way to meet and speak with Mark Burnett this will change my life so when I heard that uh, he is on his way to Southeast Asia this summer for an internship I wanted to at least have him share that with you so congratulations and report back with you.